Hey, I'm Sarah Beacon and I'm a curated ski expert. We help thousands of people every day find the perfect ski setup for them. We got the chance to go to Powder Mountain, Utah and test out a whole bunch of new 2023 skis. So we're here to tell you which ones we like the best. Just so you guys know, we're completely unsponsored and unaffiliated with any of these brands. So that means that these reviews we're giving you are totally unbiased, just our opinions of the skis. In this video, we're gonna tell you what our top five favorite women's skis were. And in fifth place, we've got the Blizzard Black Pearl 88. This is the most popular women's ski out there. Um, it's advertised as an intermediate advanced ski, but I really do feel like it's versatile enough that most anyone can enjoy it. We took them on the groomers. They were great. They really excelled at short turns. And then we even took them in the trees and they held their own. They're not super wide, so I'd probably avoid too much deep snow with them, but I had a great time. One of the cool features of these skis is called True Blend Technology, which means in the varying lengths of the ski, the stiffness is gonna be adjusted. So say you've got a 140 something for a really smaller female skier, those are gonna be a softer ski than what you would find in the 170 version of the ski. I would not recommend these skis to somebody who's either looking for a playful terrain park type ski or maybe a freestyle free ride ski that's gonna hold up well in powder. I would recommend these skis to mostly intermediate to advanced riders. Beginners looking to improve could totally handle this. They might be a little bit uh, hard to get used to at first, but it's definitely a ski that could stick with you for the long run. I'd recommend these for anyone in most parts of the country if you're sticking to groomers. Um, they'd be a good daily driver for somebody on the East Coast for sure. Coming in in fourth place is the Nordica Santa Ana 93. Nordica claims that these are an advanced level all mountain ski. Um, I agree that they are definitely good for all mountain. I would personally say these are very accessible for an intermediate skier. I feel like these are really solid in a lot of areas, but at the same time, not the most high performance in any one area. I felt like the edge hold was really good. Um, the stability of the ski as a whole for an intermediate or advanced level skier, I think will be just right. For me, I was going a little faster than I think these skis were ready for. I think if you're someone like me that really is carving hard turns and uh, maybe has like a background of using more carving oriented skis, you might find that these are a little bit chattery. If you're gonna be skiing deep powder, you might want something a little bit fatter. At 93 underfoot, they are a really happy medium between Big Mountain and your groomer ski. So if you want a ski that's truly great for groomers, I would go with something a little bit narrower and a little bit stiffer. And if you want something for deep powder days, you might want something a little bit wider. If you're looking to progress in the sport and you're kind of new to the sport, this might be a really good option for you because you could keep the ski for years and you can keep the ski all the way until you're an expert skier. In third place, is the Solomon QST Lumen 98. Solomon built these skis with a modern twin rocker and double sidewalls. The double sidewalls, they claim, helps the, the ski stay on edge in ice and crud, and the freestyle rocker helps it float in powder. So these skis have double sidewall, which means that they hold an edge really well on the groomers. I was super impressed that such a soft ski could hold an edge like that. If you're looking for strictly a terrain park ski, this is not a ski for you. Or if you're looking for a strictly groomer ski, this is not a ski for you. This is a really versatile all mountain free ride ski. When we skied in the trees with these, after we got through about two inches of powder is what has fallen today, there is some icy crud underneath and these skis really did handle that crud well. I didn't feel too much chatter, definitely be more of a powder ski for the East Coast, but this could be a total everyday driver for anybody on the West in variable conditions. If you're looking to get into all mountain skiing and into playful free riding, uh, this would be the ski for you. In second place is the Blizzard Shiva 10. The brand claims that these skis are optimal for East Coast powder or West Coast all mountain. They say that it's a perfect blend between an all mountain ski and a free ride ski. So these are Rocker Camper Rocker and they have early rise in the tips and the tails. This helps these skis be a little bit more freestyle, a little bit more playful, surfy. They will float a lot more in deeper powder. These are 102 millimeters underfoot, which means these are a wider ski. These actually were really, really fun on groomers, but they're definitely not made for groomers. They're 102 underfoot, so that means these are gonna be more of an all-mountain ski. They do have the rise in the tails. I could ski switch in them, no problem. I would not recommend this ski to beginners or people who ski consistent groomers. This ski is going to be an advanced to expert ski. You're not gonna want to hop on this ski if you're on the East Coast or skiing mostly groomers or icy conditions. These are definitely going to be a playful, more powder, 
oriented ski. You can definitely use this up as your powder ski on the East Coast, but it, it wouldn't be your everyday driver. And in number one, our favorite women's ski out of all the 2023s was the Headcore 91. Head claims that this is a versatile all mountain free ride ski. Um, it's 91 underfoot, which is one of the more narrow versions of it. This was extremely responsive on the groomers. It held an edge really well. It was super stiff, super strong, and super like light. And that, that's a big thing is that it's a, it's a super durable, really, really strong fast ski without being heavier. So these skis have a turn radius of 10 to 14 meters, depending on the size. So that's pretty narrow. You can get these skis going in tight slalom turns, and then you can go all the way out into big GS carving turns, and they held an edge really, really well. This ski is ideal for trees. It's ideal for groomers. It's ideal for bumps. It's ideal for most places on the mountain. The only place I probably wouldn't take this is in like a foot of powder. So these skis, because they're so versatile, I would really recommend these skis to any intermediate skier who's looking to improve. Uh, I would say this is more of an advanced ski, but I think that if you are a progressive beginner or an intermediate skier who really, really wants to keep going with the sport, this would be a great option because you can really keep this ski until you're an expert and still rip them and still have a great time on them. Did your skis make the list? Let us know in the comments below. And if you'd like some help finding the best skis for you, Hit us up using that link in the uh, description to get connected with myself, Hayden, or any of our other awesome curated experts. And don't forget to like our videos and subscribe to see more content from Curated.